So I'm currently in the middle of reviewing the latest Fox Alien machine, the XE Pro. But with the biggest sales period in the year coming up, well, I thought I'd give you a rundown of what you can expect to see from this machine. So stick with me because we're going to go through this pretty quick. Now the work area is 400 by 400 with a Z height of 95 millimeters. This sits in the middle of an all metal frame. So some pretty thick aluminum plate holding this 8020 extrusion on the X and Y axis. Now on the X and Y axis, you will also see the new rail system Fox Alien are using, which is stainless steel wheels on stainless steel rods. This should improve durability as well as minimizing flex that you may have got from things like polymer wheels used on other models. Now in terms of the movement of these axes, well they are using a ball screw system, which is my favorite kind of system because it minimizes what is known as backlash, the amount of play when the machine moves back and forward, ultimately giving you more precise results whenever you are machining. Now these are all driven by NEMA 23 close closed loop stepper systems. Now don't worry about the terminology, closed loop steppers just basically means it minimizes the amount of mistakes that could potentially happen, which obviously for a user is excellent. But they can also hit higher speeds of around 5,000 to 6,000 millimeters per minute. So not only are they fast, but they are powerful as well. Now in terms of control, it comes with an inbuilt offline controller, so you can use this 100% without needing a PC or laptop in your workshop. Put your files on a memory card, plug it in, and a way you go but if you want to use a PC or laptop well it comes with the USB cable and the software to get you up and running in a matter of minutes now from the outside let's come back and take a look at the Z assembly right in the center now this is fitted with linear rails linear rails just help keep things very rigid and moving very smooth which is definitely what you want on your Z assembly because this can sometimes be one of the weakest areas of the machine but with those installed it should keep it very solid and running very smooth now on the Z assembly you will see the 400 watt air cooled spindle that comes in the kit. This is great for beginners because it will get you up and running very quickly and can still machine everything that you want such as MDF, wood, acrylic, even soft metal such as aluminium. Now you can move on from this spindle and Fox Alien have already preempted that. They provide you with a 65 and 69 millimeter diameter holder in the kit straight away to move on to something such as a trim router, maybe even a 1.5 kilowatt VFD spindle which will pretty much machine through anything that you throw at it so they're already thinking ahead and they say you can move on pretty quickly with this machine with the stuff that comes in the kit but obviously people always want to upgrade and continue to move on so there are two upgrades that are ready for this machine well one is ready one is coming very soon there is a linear rail upgrade kit available for the X and Y axis. So like I mentioned with the linear rails on the Z assembly, how it helps to keep things moving smooth and more precise without any um, wobble or movement. Well, that is available for the X and Y axis as well. So it's definitely an upgrade you want to consider if you are wanting to machine harder materials, such as um, soft metals, aluminiums, brasses, those type of things. It will just help really um, keep this machine very rigid. And the second upgrade that is coming early next year is an expansion kit. So you can take this from a 400 to 400 to a 800 by 400. So basically doubling the width of this, which again, it helps you to grow if you want to start making bigger machines and breathe. So that is my very quick rundown of the Fox Alien XE Pro, the features that come with it, as well as the upgrades that you can expect to see in the future.